another lesson in mathematics and it's about simplifying rational exponents. I have a question for you. Can you solve this? And raise to 4, raise to 3 over 2. Parang ang hirap niyang isolve, di ba? Kasi bakit meron tayong fraction sa ating exponent? Paano natin to isi-simplify? Well, on this video, you will learn how to do this. Our objectives here is this one. You will learn how to simplify expressions with rational exponents. Pero bago tayo mag-simplify ng rational exponents, we need to learn first the loss of exponents. Pero alam ko na napag-aralan nyo na to nung kayo ay grade 7, di ba? Ang gagawin lang natin is ia-apply lang din natin itong loss of exponents na to dito sa ating uh, rational exponents. Kaya, balikan natin. Ano-ano ba itong mga loss of exponents? The first law is the product of powers. So, dito, when we multiply the same basis, we just add their exponent. Ito siya, di ba? Nakita ninyo? Ginawa natin dito, inad lang natin yung exponent nila. Again, pwede lang to kung pareho sila ng base. Another loss of exponent is power to a power. Ano naman yung power to a power? Dito, we multiply. So, pag nakakita tayo ng exponent, then raise to another exponent, ang ginagawa lang natin is to multiply. ba? Ayan siya. We multiply. Another is quotient of powers. Ang ginagawa naman natin sa quotient of powers, ayan. Kanina sa product of powers, we add. So, pag nag-times tayo, Ang gagawin natin sa exponent is add. Pero dito, pag nag-divide naman tayo, anong mapapansin niyo? Anong ginawa natin sa exponent? Yes, our exponent here, we subtract the exponents. Again, pwede lang ang quotient of powers kung same ng basis, kung pareho sila. Like this one, x at saka x. Ang gagawin lang natin is we subtract their exponent. Next law is the power of a product. Sa power of a product naman, ganito lang. Imumultiply lang natin yung exponent na nasa labas ng quantity dun sa exponent ng bawat term. Just like this one. Yung quantity xy raised to a is equal to xa or x raised to a, y raised to a. At, syempre, meron din tayong power of a quotient. Sa power of a quotient, ganun din, x over y raised to a, that is equal to x raised to a over y raised to a. So, itong mga loss of exponents natin na to, dapat alam natin or hanggit maaari, memorize natin para pag nag-simplify na tayo ng rational exponent, madali na lang para sa atin. Aside sa loss of exponent, kailangan alam din natin kung paano mag-add and mag-subtract ng fractions. Naaalala nyo pa ba? Madali lang kung same denominator, di ba? Kasi kapag same denominator, ang gagawin lang natin, add or subtract the numerator, copy the denominator, and simplify. Katulad nito, makikita ninyo sa example natin, 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. The answer is 4 over 5. Inad lang natin yung ating numerators o yung numbers na nasa taas. Pero, ang ginawa natin sa denominator, we just copy the denominator. Ganun lang kapag same ang ating denominators. Madali lang siya. But what if We have unlike denominator here. Papaano naman natin isosolve yung ating fractions? Of course, we need to find the less common denominator or yung LCD. After we get the LCD, we can now write in equivalent fraction, add or subtract, then simplify. So, 
Let's look at our example here. 1 half plus 3 over 4. Nakita naman natin, kumuha, or kinuha muna natin yung LCD niya, or yung less common multiple muna niya, ng 4 and 2. Tapos, yun yung ilalagay natin as our LCD. In this case, 2 and 4, their LCD is 4. After we get the LCD, ang susunod doon is, we divide the LCD to the original denominator, then multiply the quotient to the numerator. Kaya 4, 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. Then multiply by 1, the answer is 2. Ito siya. Next, 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1 times 3, we have 3. Ngayon, since they have the same denominator, we can now add their numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5 over 4. Next naman is yung multiplication of fractions. Dapat alam din natin to. Pero don't worry kasi ang multiplication of fractions, mas madali siya compare sa addition and subtraction of fractions. Bakit? Kasi dito, it doesn't matter if we don't have same denominators. So, hindi na natin kunin yung LCD pa rito. Kasi pwede tayong mag-multiply ng fractions kahit magkaiba yung kanilang denominator. We multiply the numerator and then the denominator, then simplify. Ganun lang kadali yung multiplication of fractions. Let's see. 1 half times 4 over 6. We multiply 1 and 4. 1 times 4, the answer is 4. Then we multiply 2 times 6, the answer is 12. Diba? So, wala ng LCD. After we get the product, Make sure that we simplify it or lowest term natin siya. So, ang, ang pwede pa natin maging answer sa 4 over 12 since we can divide both numer numerators and denominators into 4. The simplest form is 1 over 3. Ganun lang kadali. How about this one? 1 over 5 times 2. Fraction, then multiply to a whole number. Papaano natin siya multiply. Ang ginagawa lang natin is we assume that our whole number here has a denominator of 1. Diba? Every whole number has a denominator of 1. So, ganun lang yung ilagay na lang natin para hindi tayo malito. And then, 1 times 2, the answer is 2. 5 times 1, the answer is 5. Our product here is 2 over 5. Okay? So, mas madali ang multiplication of fractions. Now, alam na natin yung loss of exponents. Naalala na rin natin yung addition, subtraction, and multiplication of fractions. We can now proceed in simplifying rational exponents. Now, let's go back to the given question on the introduction part of this video. We are asked to solve for this. N raised to 4, then raised to 3 over 2. Ano kayang loss of exponent yung pwede nating gamitin dito? We can use the power to a power. Since we have an exponent here, then raised to another exponent. So, kapag power to a power, anong ginagawa sa exponent? We multiply their exponents. Our exponent is 4 and 3 over 2. So, we multiply 4 and 3 over 2. Our answer here is 12 over 2. Kasi nga, diba, this is a whole number and we assume that we have 1 here in, in our denominator. 
multiply the numerator, then multiply also the denominator. 4 times 3, we have 12. Then 1 times 2, we have 2. Then simplify. 12 over 2 can be simplified, simplified into 6. Therefore, our answer here is n raised to 6. Next is this one, a raised to 2 over 5 times a raised to 1 over 10. Ano kayang loss of exponent yung ia-apply natin dito? Ang ia-apply natin, syempre, is the product of powers. Ano ang ginagawa natin sa product of powers? Ang ginagawa natin sa exponent is we add the exponent. What are the exponents here? Our exponent? Um, we have 2 over 5 and 1 over 10. So, we just add these fractions. Makikita natin na yung ating fraction ay unlike or magkaiba ng denominator. Therefore, we need to find the LCD. Our LCD here is 10. After we get the LCD, we divide to the original denominator. Then, multiply. 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Then, uh, multiply to the numerator, which is 2. 2 times 2, we have 4. Next, 10 divided by 10, we have 1. Times 1, the answer is 1. We can now add the numerators since they have the same denominators. 4 plus 1. The answer is 5 over 10. We can simplify or get the lowest term. And then, the final answer is 1 half. We can now write our answers. Our answer is A raised to 1 over 2 or A raised to 1 half. Our third example is this one x raised to 4 over 7 over x raised to 1 over 14. Anong law of exponent yung i-apply natin? We will apply the quotient of powers. At sa quotient of powers, ang ginagawa lang natin sa exponent is we subtract. We will subtract 4 over 7 and 1 over 14. They are not the same denominator, we will get the LCD. Our LCD is 14. After we get the LCD, we divide the LCD to the original denominator, then multiply to the numerator. Here in this case, 14 divided by 7, the answer is 2, times 4, the answer is 8. Next, 14 divided by 14, the answer is 1, times 1, the answer is 1. Since they have the same denominator, we can now subtract our numerator. 8 minus 1 is 7. Then copy the denominator over 14. Then simplify. It is equivalent to 1 half. Our final answer here is x raised to one-half. Next example is this one. A raised to three, B raised to six, then raised to one-half. Anong law yung ating gagamitin? We will apply the power of a product. We will multiply one-half To the exponent of each term. So 3 times 1 half and then 6 times 1 half. Let's solve this. Uh, 3 times 1 half, the answer is 3 over 2. Again, paalala ko lang ulit, we have 
one over one here in our whole number. And then six times one half. Our answer is six over two. Six over two, we can write it also or simplify it into three. Six over two is three. We can now write down our answer, our final answer. A raised to 3 over 2, then B raised to 3. Next is this, M raised to 4 over N raised to 2, then raised to 1 half. We will apply the power of a quotient. We will multiply 1 half in each exponent of our terms. Meaning to say, we multiply 4 to 1 half and then 2 to 1 half. 4 times 1 half, the answer is 4 over 2 or 2. 2 times 1 half, the answer is 2 over 2 or we can simplify it as 1. We can now write down our final answer. Our final answer is m raised to 2 over n. We don't need to write 1 here as our exponent. Next, m raised to 2 over 9 times m raised to 4 over 3. Anong gagamitin? We will use the product of powers. And in product of powers, we add the exponents. 2 over 9 plus 4 over 3 is this one. Our LCD is 9. We divide 9 to 9. That is 1 times 2. The answer is 2. Then 9 times, uh, no, 9 divided by 3. We have 3 times 4. The answer is 12. Then, Add the, the numerator, we have 14 over 9. Therefore, the final answer is m raised to 14 over 9. Ngayon, alam na natin kung papaano mag-simplify ng rational exponent. Pero, syempre, marami pa tayong matututunan. Susunod nating pag-aaralan is, papaano natin isusulat itong rational exponents into radical form. So, yun yung aalamin natin sa susunod. Pero, let's summarize what we have learned in this video. Always remember that in simplifying rational exponents, we will apply the laws of exponents. So, hindi pa rin dapat kalimutan dito yung laws of exponent kasi yun yung gagamitin natin in our rational exponents in simplifying our rational exponents and then of course another is yung we need to know how to perform operations on fractions kasi nga di ba nakita nyo may mag-add tayo ng fraction magsusubtract tapos magmumultiply kaya dapat alam pa rin natin and then always remember uh, that you need to simplify your answers okay pag nagawa nyo yan Madali na lang para sa inyo mag-simplify nitong mga rational exponents. Kaya abangan nyo pa yung mga susunod na video natin. Marami pa tayong pag-aaralan about rational exponents. For now, that's the end. Goodbye!